Today, we will introduce you to ST latest current sensing device, the TSC 2020. It is a 100 volts, high precision, zero drift, temperature stable current sensor with PWM rejection, offering a versatile solution for various applications. In this video, we will focus on motor control application, but this guide is also applicable to all other applications. Are you striving for high efficiency in your next level motor control application? Ready to prototype with ST evaluation boards? Today, we will be testing with our highly configurable evaluation board. Stay with us until the end of the video, where we share a trick for rapid prototyping in high performance motor control. The typical approach with low cycle and sensing is a cost effective solution that performs well in many scenarios. It provides an efficient way to monitor current. But it requires complex algorithm to accurately estimate the current phase. Let's take a closer look at the signal we get from the low side current sensing. As you can see, accurate readings are obtained only through short term capture of the current through the FET on the low side, while there is no information during the high side step. The true motor current is calculated and estimated thanks to a complex algorithm based on the current during this short time window. For those thinking to achieve greater efficiency and accuracy, inline current sensing stands out as the best choice. But does prototyping with inline current sensing make you spend hours reworking your boards? Not anymore. ST evaluation boards featuring the all new TSC 2020 met prototyping effortless. Let me show you how. This versatile evaluation board is designed for all types of current sensing applications. In this motor control application, we want to use a fixed gain of 20. There are two steps. First, insert the board into the phase of the motor. Second, open the jumper from the low side sensor and connect the output of the TSC 2020 instead. For sure, the software must also be updated in the STM32 microcontroller for the motor drive. Now that's done, let's check the results. We expect an accurate and continuous reading of the phase current. Here, you can see one measured phase current continuously following the true phase current. Let's compare this once more to the previous measurements, which provide only fractional information. By choosing inline current sensing, you can experience the peace of mind that comes with knowing your system is operating at its full potential. We hope you enjoyed this video. Now, it's time to prototype.